Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias Antiochian Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Friday, December 24th, 2021, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 1, verses 1 through 12. In many and various ways, God spoke of old to our fathers by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by a son, whom he appointed the heir of all things, through whom also he created the world. He reflects the glory of God and bears the very stamp of his nature, upholding the universe by his word of power. When he had made purifications for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has obtained is more excellent than theirs. For that which to what angel did God say, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee, or again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me as a son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he said, Let all God's angels worship him. Of the angels, he says, Who makes his angels wings, and his servants flames of fire? But the servant of the Son, he says, Thy throne, O God, is for ever and ever, and the righteous scepter is the scepter of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore God, thy God, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness beyond thy comrades. And... Thou, Lord, didst found the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of thy hands. They will perish, but thou remainest. They will all grow old like a garment, like a mantle, thou wilt roll them up, and they will be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years will never end. And then finally, today, we have a reading from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. In those days the decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment, when Quirinus was the governor of Syria, and all went to be enrolled, each to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and lay him in a manger, because there was no place for them in an inn. And in that region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. And the angels went away from them into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying which had been told to them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary kept these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. And for today's reflection, I think it's just appropriate to take a look again at the gospel that is there, because it pretty much says everything that needs to be said, both today, the nativity, the eve, and also tomorrow, the feast of the nativity itself. The gospel readings say everything that we need to hear. So to Christ our God, who chose to be incarnate, who chose to be born of a woman for our salvation. May he be with you today and always. Christ is born, glorify him. And may God bless you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Have a great day. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.